So this is my Janome Horizon Memory Craft 8200 QCP Special Edition sewing machine. I just love it. But what I want to talk to you about is how to operate the sewing machine without using the foot pedal. This sewing machine can be operated by hand by using this start stop button. So let's take a look at how we do that. On the side of the Janome, you will see, I'm sorry, you will see there is a power switch here. Power. This is the cord that plugs in for my foot pedal and the power cord. So I'm simply going to unplug the foot pedal that's the plug. And the sewing machine will automatically sense that there is no foot pedal. Just like it will automatically sense um, when you have it plugged in. So if you want to sew without the foot pedal, you do have to unplug it. So next I'm going to power on my sewing machine. Now this is the front of my sewing machine. Um, this little lever here is the speed control. So by pushing it all the way to the right, I can have my sewing machine sew faster. Let's zoom in on that. I can have it sew faster. If I want to slow down my stitching speed, I just move it to the left and I can move it however, you know, in whatever increment I want. It just slides across here. And there is a little indention right here, a line that shows you where you have it, the slowest all the way to the fastest. So let's just go down here to about a medium speed. Now you can also set up the sewing machine so that it starts in a different mode where it starts off slow, starts off medium, or starts off fast. I currently have mine set up to start off medium but we'll talk about that in another tutorial. I really just wanted to show you how to sew without using the foot pedal. So I have my sewing machine is already threaded and I have my needle thread here. I already have, I'm gonna put the thread under my presser foot. I already have my bobbin thread in place. So what I'm going to do is line up my fabric just like I want to sew. I'll lower my presser foot, put my needle in the down position. I usually start sewing with my needle in the down position. I am not sure why, it's just something I have always done. And it seems to help with keeping um, nest from forming when I start to stitch. And it also holds my fabric in place. So I have my needle in the down position. I have my fabric lined up with my stitch guide here, uh, doing about a half inch stitch with a seam allowance. And I am ready to just stitch. When I'm ready to stitch, I simply press the start button and my sewing machine will start to stitch. It'll start out at a medium speed and then go up to whatever I have it set to. In this case, I have it set to go to medium anyway. So. It's going to start out when I want to stop stitching I press the stop button you'll notice the start stop button turns green and red so let's set the stitch speed all the way up to fast and again I have my needle down my presser foot I have my fabric all lined up and I want you to notice the difference in the speed that the, the machine will do. So I'm gonna press start. And you notice it started out at a medium speed and worked up to the fast speed that I had my sewing machine set to. Now the start stop button turns green when it is ready to be pressed, when it's ready to start. So again, I press start and it will immediately start stitching. I press stop and it will stop stitching with the needle in the down position. 
That way, if I wanted to raise my presser foot and I was turning a corner, I could do that. I wouldn't have to put my needle down first. Now, if I'm sewing, well, let's just go back the other way. Now, if I wanted to reverse, I can do that with, um, I can do that. So let's start sewing. And then I wanna reverse. It will reverse for as long as I'm depressing the reversed button. Let's try this again. Start, reverse, let go, reverse, let go, press stop. And the machine will always stop with the needle in the down position. Let's slow it down a little bit more and show you that again. So I'm gonna start, and now I'm going really super slow. And then I'm going to tell it to reverse. Again, it's going to reverse for as long as I hold down the reverse button. When I let go, it will resume the forward stitch. Okay, now if I wanna do the end stitch here where it stitches three times in place and stop stitching, I can do that too. So let's start stitching. And let's say I have reached the end of my fabric. I simply press the button and my sewing machine will stitch three or four times in place. It will automatically stop with the needle in the down position. I can then cut the thread, which will cut the thread, raise the needle, and then I can remove the fabric from my sewing machine. So that is how to use the sewing machine without using the foot pedal and just using the start stop button. If you have any other questions about this Janome sewing machine, please leave it in the comments below and I would be glad to cover it in a future video. Thank you so much. If you found this video tutorial helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be the first to know when new tutorials are made available. And be sure to visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog and subscribe to my newsletter where you will have new creative ideas delivered straight to your email inbox. Thank you.